Kibera, life in Africa's largest slum. The world is moving towards rapid urbanization and one of the greatest challenges of urbanization is sheltering the ever increasing city population. With 54% of world's population living in urban areas, 25% of people end up living in informal settlements. About 1 billion people worldwide live in slums and the figure is projected to grow to 2 billion by 2030. Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, has been experiencing rapid urbanization and is home to one of the world's largest slums, Kibera. Post the construction boom in early 2000, Nairobi quickly emerged as an important economic center of Africa. The CBD here has skyscrapers which are headquarters of major businesses and corporations. Nairobi also has many planned neighborhoods but it houses only 15% of the population. It is the slums in Nairobi which accommodate the remaining 75% of which 15% reside in Kibera. A similar disparity is also seen in the employment sector where only 50% of Kibera's workforce is employed compared to Dharavi which is one of Asia's largest slum located in India where the employment rate is as high as 85%. The informal and temporary nature of jobs results in people of Kibera having an average daily income of $1 whereas Dharavi has an average daily income of $3. This has a direct impact on their housing and infrastructure. The housing deficit in Kenya stood at 2 million in 2012 and continues to grow at the rate of over 200,000 units a year. In Kibera, majority of the people live in tin houses, but few houses have an area as less as 9 square meters and the average household size is 7. With a population density of 985 inhabitants per hectare, it is still far less than the 3,547 inhabitants per hectare of Dharavi. Housing itself cannot be considered alone for promoting a healthy neighborhood provision of basic services like water sanitation and solid waste management should also be a priority currently there are 637 private water vendors from where kiberians buy the water from on particular days the women and the children of kibera spend just under an hour queuing up and carrying back the water An estimated 1.5 million residents share 600 toilets. Most of the sewage runs downhill in open ditches, resulting in stagnation, breeding insects and environmental pollution. All this severely affects the life expectancy in Kibera, which is 30 years of age. Only 25% of children in Kibera attend schools due to limited and poor access to educational institutions. This further limits the upliftment of Kibera. Despite the size and level of poverty in the area, Kibera has been largely ignored by those outside its community, making its residents extremely vulnerable. Flooding is a recurring problem in Kibera, causing death and destruction annually, eroding the already limited assets of poor households and stalling economic activity. but this is changing with the help of government efforts the kenyan government and un habitat have joined hands to create organizations like kenya slum upgrading program which aims to improve the infrastructure and housing of 5.3 million slum dwellers of kenya in 2030 organizations like kibera community development agenda and karanena for kibera are involved in recruiting and training the youth from kibera The Kibera Integrated Water, Sanitation and Waste Management Project and Shining Hope for Communities aims at contributing towards improving the livelihoods by supporting small-scale community-based initiatives in water sanitation and waste management. Focusing on these vulnerabilities of Kiberians has become a priority over the last few years. Hence, these organizations are reviving life in Kibera.